Good evening. To be able to see better. We read from John 9 verse 3 and also verse 39. Neither this man, this blind man, nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. Verse 39, Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. One have, can have long the theoretical conversations about the causes and the consequences of illness and suffering in this world until it happens to yourself. Only then are you confronted with the practice of your point of view and also with your own relationship with God. John writes his gospel to convince his readers that Jesus Christ is truly the Messiah, the Messiah, the Son of God. He is particularly struck by how Jesus repeatedly uses signs and wonders to proclaim the truth of the gospel. So, for example, Jesus multiplies the bread and the fish and then explain to people that he himself is the bread of life. In John 9, Jesus and his disciples walk away from the temple and Jesus sees a man who was blind from, the birth, from birth and consequently made a living by standing and begging at the temple. Jesus sees the man in his distress. There are no coincidences or accidents in this. He sees him because he wants to see him. He sees him in his physical need, but also in his and the others around him in their spiritual need. Jesus sees him in his physical need. As he sees the paralyzed man at the bath of Bethesda, the crowd of hungry people, the lepers and the demon possessed, this in itself is something to ponder at. Jesus sees people in their physical need. He also came to free people from their physical need. He heals the blind from his disability. The healing work of God is revealed through this man and Jesus healing him. His blindness leads to the revelation that Jesus Christ is more than just a human being. He is able to make a blind man see for the first time in his life. We must not spiritualize the gospel too quickly. We can know that God sees us in our circumstances, in our distress. Whether it's physical, financial, emotional or mental distress, Jesus has full compassion for us in our need. May his healing work also be revealed in your life by healing you from your distress and illnesses. Yet it's not all about the physical need of man and mankind. What good would it do if he entered into internal punishment with open eyes? The fact that the man that man could see did not mean that he could not become ill again in the future. And this man too would, ev would eventually die as a result of some reason. Our religion may never just revolve around the physical. God is not just there to keep us as healthy and prosperous as possible for as long as possible. There is greater need and there is greater purpose to our existence than this. That is why the Lord continues with man. His deeper distress is his and the bystanders' spiritual blindness. They refuse to recognize Jesus as the Messiah. They are trapped in their sin. They are all blind. Blindness is bad, but the need for sin is worse. The gospel has to do with the deliverance of man from the darkness of sin. And this can only happen when you believe in the light of the world, in Jesus Christ. Because this man had not yet been be healed of his spiritual blindness, Jesus went to look for the man again. And when Jesus found him, verse 35 to 38, he asked him, 
Do you believe in the Son of Man? And he replied, Who is it, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You see him, it's he who speaks to you. The man then said, I believe, Lord, and he worshipped Jesus. The man's spiritual eyes open. Now he can truly see. Back to us. Our sickness and suffering confronts us with our relationship with the Lord. Long after we have stopped debating the cause of suffering, long after we have been healed of certain sickness or have not been healed, the one question still remains. Do you, sinner, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? May the Lord's healing action in your life come true. But may you above all be healed of your spiritual blindness to see Jesus as the Saviour. Only then you are no longer blind. Good night.